spicy historic deck. Okay. Never seen it coming. I'm going to just go ahead and get started. Uh, oh, no. Oh, there it is. I was like, it doesn't know where to capture the game. Figured it out. Um, first things first. I didn't know that the Mastery Pass came with uh, that pre-order thing. And uh, I found the first thing I want to buy, which is these. Look at these stickers. I'm spamming that Liliana. <laughs> um, but these are kind of cool. Will and Will uh, and Rowan. But I'm 50 coins away, so I'm just gonna like do a daily really quick. Hopefully, we'll get it done playing somebody or whatever. Um, I opened my Strixhaven packs already, and there's a lot of cool stuff. And you get a decent amount of those mystical archives. But I didn't update any decks. I was trying to make a Hollow One deck, but um, it's kind of hard. Like you don't have Flame Phoenix. There's a Phoenix in Jumpstart that's pretty good, but uh, I think I have to like think about this deck a little bit more before I can like make a list. Hopefully, somebody else will brew one up before I have to worry about it. But um, otherwise, I'm down to take some challenges if anybody's ready, or I'll like log into uh, Ranked Q and see what uh, see what the play is. If you want to play now, Todd, I'm ready, since you said you got your spicy meme deck. I think uh, I messaged Evan earlier. Evan said he'd be down to play again, which would be awesome. Maybe Alex Newton will challenge me. Looks like he's online. Um, this is Jimmy. I think this is Richard. Got a decent amount of people online. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and send it to you. Oh, you got the challenge. Perfect. That's even better. And what deck shall we play? I don't want to play any control decks because they're really boring. Let's try this one. I don't know what Todd's meme deck is, but I'm a big fan of elves. <laughs> Let me know if the music's too loud for Arena or whatever, or if it's boring, I can put on like pretzel music in the background. Um, I might keep this just because of the Line War Elves. We get punished kind of hard if he has removal, but I still have other one drops. I think most of our hand is live, but if we get to get the, uh, if we get to keep the Line War Elves, then we get to, um, Hopefully, you draw into some lands and play the Coco. Oh, he did it! Teamer Energy is back. This is exciting. I haven't actually seen any energy lists on Arena, which is so shameful because it's such a cool deck. I found a Mart of Vehicles list before I found a, like an Aetherworks Marvel deck. I wonder what his payoff's going to be. It's probably Ulamog can't think of anything that would be better. Oof, I guess we're kind of getting punished, but it could be worse. At least we're going to get some uh, guys in play. I almost want to wait on playing the second one for the trigger, but I'm just going to run it out. And scavenging this could be a problem, so we'll attack and see if he wants to trade. Cool. Yeah, like worst case, we're going to just play this guy next turn anyway, so we'll get the trigger, but hopefully we draw a black source. Okay, teamer confirmed. Harness lightning. Oh, no, and he's punishing us. He's got enough mana for, or he's got enough energy for Aetherx Marvel whenever he wants to pop it. I think he needs six. Oh, that's good. Got our spring leaf drum. And uh, we can't attack? Right, we can't attack. Damn, that's a shame. Bristling Hydra. Ooh, I know Todd loves that guy. Okay. Um, just going to cast this guy since we can actually afford to cast him. Tap a Shepherd. 
This is looking pretty bad for us, but if we can get like an arch druid out, we should be okay. No attacks, and hopefully, at the very least, we kind of hold him back from attacking because we have so many one ones. The bristling hydra gets big, but it only gains hexproof, not indestructible. And the skews can't get big until I start trading. Uh, we just have to worry about him drawing Aetherworks Marvel and Ulamogging us out of our forests. <laughs> yeah, if he has Aetherworks Marvel here and hits Ulamog, we're just dead. But I'll play it out. Ether Hub. Vivian Reed. Okay. That's an interesting addition to the deck. She's really good, though. I like her. Can you find an artifact with this creature or land? No. That'd be crazy if you could find artifacts. So we're another conduit. Everybody for sure remembers that guy. I like that draw actually. Just hopefully draw us into like an overgrown tomb or something. Make a bunch of men. Oh, he has it already. I need that. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're not attacking. Definitely not attacking. As long as I have all these guys here, the Bristling Hydra can't uh, join the fray, which is all we want. Two servants. Nothing too bad. Ooh, World of Virtuoso. Okay, that could actually start being a problem. Especially especially because he's F-Flying. Does this give Trample? No, but this one does? No, Death Touch. Man. That's terrible. Um, still operating on two, so we'll probably just play the Dwinans Elite. Yeah, I'm just making sure. There wasn't a better play that I was missing. I mean, we're still not in too bad of shape. He might make fourth opters here to try to start getting in with flyers, but I'm really okay with that. If anything, his main goal here is to alt Vivian or find his Marvel. So... Since she's not at 8 yet, I'm not going to attack. Hopefully we get a land and then we can just play Imperius Perfect next turn and then attack with a bunch of 2-2s. Two okay, so he's making 2 Thopters. That makes sense. Just keep 6 energy for your Aetherworks Marvel. No one knows the wilds like I do. Hopefully Vivian finds Ulamog here. Oh, Rogue Refiner. That's pretty good. If he would have flipped a Ulamog, that would have been good for us. Because he can't cast it yet, it looks like. Eight mana he has. If he plays the other Servant. I feel like he should have held these back. He really wants this thing to alt, but I'm not going to complain. Shoot. We really needed that to be a land. Um, well, this is going to alt, so they get plus two Vigilance, Trample, and Destructible. And he's going to have a bunch of them. I could play the Chiraga Sentinel and have three or four mana next turn. I guess I kind of I kind of have to. So we'll play him and Allosaurus Shepherd, and then we'll hopefully get to play Coco next turn. But he's going to have a lot of stuff. Oh! Oh, no, you fool. <laughs> Jebated. He didn't know my Alice Horse Shepherd has 8,000 text on it. All right. Um, yeah, we're definitely not attacking. Oh, I guess I kind of... One, two, three, four, five. I could send like six dudes at Vivian and not really feel that bad about it. And then 
if they're all tokens, Skuas can't eat them. And then she'll be... Yeah, let's let's do that. And I think I'll actually tank an attack from the uh, virtual. So. so we'll send all the tokens. None of these guys, that way scavenging goose can't eat them. And then if he attacks us, we're fine. We're just banking and trying to land anyway. But this buys us enough time, I think, to try to find a land. I'm assuming he's in Ulamagas. My glasses feel kind of crooked right now. Sorry, I keep adjusting them. <clears throat> so four get through. Okay, I'm happy with that. What do you kill? Creature, artifact, enchantment? Creature with flying, okay. All right, that's fine. Hmm. I'm surprised he was willing to invest mana into Thopters again. Euro. Interesting. I mean, that does seem good. <laughs> All right, tax me for four. Okay. Um, oh, you have reach. I actually didn't remember that. That'll be good to know for the future. Although I probably shouldn't have blocked now that he's looking at his cards. Okay, good. He didn't have like a blossoming defense or something. I would have felt real dumb if I lost my land there. All right. Chose a card, plays an extra land. Maybe he doesn't have Aetherworks Marvel and he's just playing, um, he has a black splash so he could have like Baraskas. Feels like he should play. Feels like he should be playing Aetherworks Marvel if he has the opportunity. Can't decide if Imperius Perfect is better. I want to say that it is better than this guy. Mm. Let's do this guy first. And then when we play Imperius Perfect next turn, he won't be summoning sick. Oh, this guy's such a boss. So many men. Thank you, sir. Six creatures to block with. Um, I'm okay with Vivian Reed as long as she can't ult, so we're just going to hold back. How are you guys doing tonight? Chilling. Anybody on Facebook? I see a lot of people on Twitch, but nobody from Facebook yet. Ooh, he's scooped? I feel like the scoop was a bit early, but I'll take it. Hmm. So, like, he didn't show us Aetherworks Marvel. But even if he did have it, Reclamation Sage probably isn't that good. I feel like we're doing Thoughtseize and not Reclamation Sage. I know we didn't have lands that game, but I'm probably going to cut the Jaspara Sentinels. Maybe Clan Caller can go. And we'll cut these guys. Clan Caller's just in there as like a one up for the Lord effect, but we shouldn't really need it against this deck. Especially because his uh, main removal is Harness Lightning. Okay, this is good. We can work with this. So we're going to Thought Seize into Elvish Warmaster and then figure it out from there. Mulligan to six. A tune. Love that card. I kind of miss this standard. I know people weren't really a fan of Aetherworks Marvel, but I really liked it. I didn't care. Maybe that's a bad take, but it's fine. 
Okay, that's what the black splash is for. That makes sense. That was the same thing they did back in the day. Uh, I still think I'd rather take Harness Lightning, though, and just not let him remove my guys and try to overwhelm the Scarab God. Um, it shouldn't be a problem for us anyway. By the time he gets to turn five, if we haven't done something crazy, we are playing our deck wrong. All right. Looks like we're going to do War Master into Realm Walker, assuming he doesn't do anything crazy. If he kills this, I'm actually okay with that. Um, this isn't as impactful as Realm Walker or like Elvish Archdruid right now. And then hopefully we'll see some Cocos. I'm pretty sure he's holding up Essence Scatter, so we're going to go ahead and play Allosaurus Shepherd. A braid. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm down with taking the braid out of his hand so he can't blow up my Realm Walker. He could have still had Essence Scatter, though. Um, Realm Walker is good, but I'm pretty sure we're going to Coco here. Yeah, let's go for two. Let's play the Coco. Oh, that's amazing. All right, we'll just get them both. Scarab guy comes down, which would normally be really scary, but I think we're fine. Um... Hmm. Hmm. I have a lot of mana, kind of, but also not really. Yeah, we'll just build up a board state. Hopefully, he doesn't field Nukas. Realm Walker for Elves, and let's start playing all of our stuff. We get punished for this if he has like Extinction Event or something, but all right, sweet, we got him. Um, Ritual of Suit or whatever, it could have been anything. Uh, yeah, man, I'm not sure if it was um, if it was lethal because I would have had to uh, I would have had to activate with one of the attackers, and then he has the Scare God to block. Now a real deck? Okay, so rematch? I'm down. Uh, challenge cancelled. He broke it. Okay, after this next match with Todd, um, send me your, um, what's it called? Your arena name so I can add you. Can I do this while I'm in game? Maybe I can. All right, uh, let's play something different though. Um, Evan played this yesterday, but he didn't get to showcase it because of Graph Digger's Cage, so I'll give it a try. And then hopefully we don't get Graph Digger's Caged. I don't think you can operate your friends list in game anymore. Maybe you can. Okay, you can. Yeah, if you, send, if you type in your name, I'll add you. Oof. I don't think I can keep this as much as I want to. This isn't that much better because our lands are tapped, but I'm going to have to go with it. Um, what are we getting rid of? I want the Thoughtseize. I think the Claim can go. Um, I'll play Castle Locked Wayne, because then I, if I draw a mountain, I don't feel bad. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm assuming it's empty wet, but uh, let me know. 371. Hopefully that's right. Uh, another Skull Summit. That's fine. Godless Shrine. Loris. Ooh. 
playing the Orzhov deck. Okay. Um, feels bad, but I think I have to take, like, not Shram because he has two. Yeah, I'll take the Cartouche. If it was just Shram, I would have taken it, but he's going to get to play it, play it anyway, and I'm not guaranteed to draw removal. Oh, no. I feel like Croxa is the best pick, but Young Pyromancer might be good, too. Dreadheart only gets Thoughtseize right now, and then otherwise it's just kind of just sitting there. It doesn't attack well into his deck, either. That's eh, fine. I'll take that. He must have a different game plan then, but I feel like I'm okay with that. I mean, I don't have spells for Young Pyromancer, so maybe that's what he's thinking. I still have to prove that the Young Pyromancer is good. I'll take that Blood Crypt draw, even though it's another land. At least I can start playing untapped lands. Make him discard a land. He might discard a Shram since he has an extra. Okay, cool. Uh, one, two, three. Stram into Cartouche. Good draw. Another land. Um, considering I another land, I'm just going to grab my Loris because I want, I'd rather have a spell before I run this out into potential removal, like a Fatal Push or whatever. Every day I play, play Stasis, bro. Dotsies is the best. <laughs> I love Dotsies. Um, let me know if the if you got the friend request, Matt. It says it's sent, but um, sometimes the, the the requests are so buggy. So this makes it come back. Okay, and then he's got a spirit dancer. All right. I think we're going to just play Croxa here. Yeah, I'm just going to play Croxa. Exactly. Evan knows. Thoughtsies is like legit the best card. I'm excited to actually play Brainstorm. I feel like that's going to be crazy. People don't really know how strong that card is unless you actually play Legacy. Brainstorm is crazy. It's going to like start making some of these blue decks insane. And now we have Faithless Looting as well for Arclight Phoenix. That's kind of exciting. I probably should have tried Arclight Phoenix before I tried Hollow One. Flying, plus one, plus one. And then the aura buff. We might be dead. I like that interaction with Myers Grasp. It's so fun. There's like that other Theros Band Death creature too. That draws a card whenever a creature that's equipped dies or whatever. An aura. Love that effect. Um, I think we're. I think we're dead. I mean, attacking with Croxa right now is just kind of a meme. <laughs> but I might as well get the trigger. And then he doesn't want to block this, so we'll get the free damage in. I like how Orzhov Boggles is the real deck, but Team Rare Energy is not. <laughs> Ah, okay, so friends list is broken again. What a surprise. Esports ready. <laughs> Let me know if you get it fixed and then I'm down to play. Otherwise, if you're down to play again, Evan, I'd be down. I think Todd's going to beat me up this game. I don't know how I'm going to beat this guy unless I draw all my fatal pushes. All right. 
A drag challenge should work too. Okay. Um, that's good. This is good. That's probably fine. Actually, this is also fine. So we just want a bunch of removal. Hmm. I gotta be careful not to overboard. I think I can do without the claim to fames. We'll cut Dreadhorde as well. I don't want to cut Thoughtseize, although I th think that would be also worth considering. can't see my numbers for some reason here or else I would uh I would type them in for you so you can do the direct challenge after this so after Todd it's Matt and then maybe Evan and then Todd again <laughs> all right this is much better This card is insane. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I just take the creature. Cool. Yeah, these black auras are pretty cool with the whole protect your creature. Claim it is. Uh, I guess we just kill the guy. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't draw another creature. Give us a chance to uh, set up some dominance with Young Pyromancer. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do Young Pyromancer first. That way I can start drawing cards with village rights if I get to spark harvest something. Oof, oof. Ouch. Okay, I don't mind that draw. Um, I can sack this. Oh, but it's a sorcery. Hmm. And then he's going to play Demonic Bigger. I guess I'm just forced to kill the Shram. That's fine. I'll get a 1-1, one, one, and then if he doesn't kill it, I can... If he doesn't kill the 1-1, one, one, I can sack it to Village Rights. Oh, that doesn't count for a 1-1? One, one? Douche. I, uh... I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm so sad. All right, that's bad. I don't want to hear any complaints about Dotsies after he drew back-to-back -back creatures. <laughs> All right, time to start Croxane. I don't know if I'm too late to activate this. There we go. All right, we got to land. Hopefully we can make a comeback. I would need like Angress Rampage now. Furka's Libation also makes them sack a creature, right? That should work also. Oh, I'm just dead. 15. <laughs> nice. I'll take it. This card is so fun. 
I'm gonna try and pitch his, his boss. Okay. Um, so we just try to upgrade his core spirit dancer, I guess, after he casts whatever aura protects it. <laughs> I can't wait to have that. I'm 50 coins away. Okay. Oh. Um. Well, the spirit dancer is still scarier. Um. It doesn't really matter, I guess. I'll just kill it. And then we have to draw more removal. Yeah, that's fine, because this, this, this can still be blocked by Croxa for now, but Core Spirit Dancer is like, oh no, never mind. It's just a problem either way. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure we're dead, but we'll play it out. We get his last card, but he has fame both times. Oh, he can't cast fame. Oh, interesting. Um, but he casts Sentinel's eyes, and I can't block them both, so I'm dead. You got me. Well played, Todd. All right. Um, Matt, if you want to send me a direct challenge. Yeah, I agree. Spirit Dancer is much worse there um, in, in every aspect. I can't block it ever. But... Um, Yeah, Spirit Dancer is just a beast. What's the numbers? How dare you? Um, 84286. I'll type it in Twitch. I probably could have copied it, but oh well. And then Direct Challenge from Matt. If I had to guess, he's playing Elves, but... I won't put him on anything. I'll just pick a random historic deck from the list. How do I know if I got a direct challenge? If only there was some way that Watsi could make that clear to us. Hmm. That's fine. Do, do, do your thing. You can mute me. Whatever. You can also look at my cards. I don't care. Can you let me know when you sent the... Oh, I have to send it to you as well? <sighs> wow. All right. <laughs> um, okay, so are you doing... Can you do historic tournament match then? Best of three coin flip timers. Yeah. All right, do that. And then I think we have to do the same one. Brutal design, Watsy. Hopefully that works. I don't know what deck he's on, but I'm going to rock the vampires again because I didn't get to really showcase them last time. But I think the deck is real, really underrated. Well, maybe not anymore now that Strixhaven's out. Who knows what the format's going to look like in two days. I didn't get a chance to really brew anything um, besides like Hollow One for like 10 minutes. But I'm I'm sure Arc Light Phoenix is gonna be better. I'm sure Brainstorm's gonna make a difference, and even just like the control decks, not to mention any of the is it decks. Did it work, Matt? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Did you do the same type of challenge? Let's try, let's try a different one. Oh, you have to do the same one. All right, let's try, um, do challenge match, best of three. 
Challenge match, best of three. It has to be the same one or else it's not going to pair us. Oh, can I just... There we go. And where did the, where did the deck go? Oh, I'm blind. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, it worked. That's nice. All right, he gets to go first. Assuming he actually is playing elves, this is like a really terrific hand. But if he's on anything else, then uh, who knows? Fable Passage makes me think it's not elves. Island. All right. <gasps> Thermal Alchemist. He's going to spell me. I still think this hand is fine against this this archetype. Assuming he's playing Arc Life Phoenix. Young Pyromancer, pretty good. Um, that's a decent draw, but I kind of wish it was um, anything else considering I had Faceless Haven as my third land. But now if we draw Swamps, I'm not feeling too bad. Get the Young Pyromancer off the field right away just so he doesn't start building tokens. Faith is looting. There it is. Look at that artwork. God's plan. And brainstorm. Oh, no. Cast Faith is looting. Drops, a Phoenix, drops two phoenixes. Nice. All right. Well, now you get to see the power. Oh, man, brainstorm is going to be so good in this deck. Um... Hard to say what I should do here. I kind of want to run out of Soren. Too bad this guy doesn't fly. If I run out of Soren, it's highly likely he attacks it, but he might just shock it. I'll risk it. I don't think he's going to be putting counters on his guys anyway. And then just try to gain some life. I mean, if he doesn't kill Soren, I'm just going to make this guy lifelink, right? So I think he has to. Or at least shock it. And we have Fable Passage. Oh, man. It's going to be so disgusting watching people shuffle away their bad cards with Fable Passage. This format's going to get really fun. <laughs> Finale for a Brainstorm. And Faithless Hooding. Oh, wow. <laughs> Finale's good. That's pretty good. Wins the review. Okay, so he at least attacks the Soren, which I'm cool with. I think considering I'm getting life, I might do... I might run back to same play. I could also... Uh, he's just an ox if I thought sees him, which is unfortunate. Now I really don't want to thought sees. I 
I suppose this takes over his whole turn, cutting him off of red, though. Yeah, let's do it. Let's thought seize him. Kill a bird. Lightning axe. Um... Yeah, let's take the removal. Now, if he wants to play that Pyromancer, he has to draw a mountain. But um, I think he's just going to play the Ox and discard his hand. I could be dead here. Crash through. That's interesting. This could be really bad for us. <laughs> I mean, he... He just has to draw into like opt, and then three phoenixes are in play. Didn't draw it. Okay. That works. Um, I think we just have to risk it. So we're going to kill this, play Soren. It already has lifelink, so I don't really think I gain any value from sacrificing it or giving it a counter. If I want to win, I think I just have to go for broke. If he has three spells, he has three spells, and then we just lose. But he still needs a, uh, a third phoenix, right? One, two, yeah. He would have to get a third phoenix as well. Oh, no, um, he doesn't. Shoot. I'm dead then. I forgot about the life loss on this draw. Got me. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I think it was worth the risk anyway, because if I didn't do anything besides gain life, I would have I wouldn't have really had a threat on his life total. Alright. Um Well those for sure come in. Did I bring a wrinkle in accident? No. And then graph figures. Agonizing remorse is probably good. Maybe not. We have a lot of removal. Um, person with obliterator is probably not great in this matchup. Like, it's never blocking. And he also has Young Pyromancer. I think I'll cut it. Otherwise, I'm thinking about Thoughtseize not being that useful. And then just hopefully get Leyline or Graftigers. I think that should be fine. Elspeth's Nightmare could be decent. Just worried about overboarding. Mm. Let's just do that. That should be fine. Hopefully, I don't regret not having thoughts. He's, but I feel like it's just not going to be as good, considering he has so many cards he doesn't care that are in his graveyard. All right, we did it. I'll just run out the cage on turn two, I think. The sand isn't really that good, all things considered, and that's a really bad draw for us. That's the only thing that sucks about the Faceless Haven. Like, Faceless Haven is so good, but like, sometimes you just draw it in here and you're like, I really need that black source, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. If we don't draw a land next turn, we're probably gonna lose. But if I can Soren into champion next turn, it's salvageable, I think. But nothing stops him from just drawing a braid, and then we look dumb. It might have been worth considering mulling that hand, even though I had to sideward hate. I 
I guess I can't really complain. I don't have to worry about Young Pyromancer now at least, but really need to land. Was Blood Moon one of the mystical archives? Or is that still not legal on Arena? Blood Moon would be pretty cool. Oh, wow. What a really bad draw. <laughs> no Blood Moon. Got it. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was legal at all. Chantra, I think, solidifies that we're dead. Yeah. There we go. Um, unfortunately I'm forced to kill this Chandra here, but at least I can do it against no counter magic. It's playable, but we're still on the back foot, I think. Uh, what do you mean only instants and sorceries? This could be negate, but I think I'm just going to run the Soren out. If it is, whatever. Alright, cool. So, now we get to start drawing some cards, and we should be in better shape. Uh, what do you mean only instants and sorceries? Like, the mystical archives, or? Ouch. That's brutal. What did I mail? Leyline. All right, I'll take it. I mailed a Leyline. Could have been worse. Awaken Inferno. Man, we're super dead. Uh, well, at least I can kill it. And we drew a Leyline. We are not lucky today. <laughs> eh, this actually might not be the worst draw ever, considering he could have a braid. There it is. And now he can cast his faces with wings. If I draw a swamp, I might just run the ley line out. Oh, that's bad. Um, let's draw a card. Swamp. I mean, it's not the worst draw. <laughs> All right, well, now that he's had all these turns to draw spells, he definitely is going to get some phoenixes out. We're probably dead here. Three of them. Oof. Yeah. Oh, there's a brainstorm. Um, and he's at three phoenixes. I'm going to go to six. Yeah, I'm pretty dead. Boom, boom, pow. I don't think there's anything I can draw that changes this, but we'll see. The swamp. It exists. Keck. Good games, Matt. All right, who's next? Did you want to play Evan? Or I can give uh, Todd a rematch, or I can give Matt a rematch. Whomever. Oh, we finished our dailies. That's perfect. While you guys decide on who's playing, let me uh, let me buy this intellectual sticker pack. Oh, perfect. Equipped. Equipped. <laughs> How do I make sure they stay equipped? The win, the crueler the opponent. Oh, there they are. Perfect. And then we got our emotes and confirm. And which pet are we rocking? Is it the book still? Yeah, that's fine. We'll keep the book. It says I have packs. Oh, 
<laughs> Strixhaven packs, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd be down for another one. One moment. Okay. Um, same thing. Challenge match. Best of three. Coin flip. Cool. I'm ready. This time, what should we play? Let's play some Feather. Feather is pretty, pretty dope. Feather gets a lot of new arts. I mean, no upgrades, I think, but it gets a lot of like, um, artwork upgrades. <laughs> There's a lot of Mystic Archive cards that I'm pretty sure are already in the Feather deck, but they were legal anyway. Did you get there, Matt? Let me know when you send the challenge in, because if, if you sent it, then it's probably one of us messed it up. It's sent? Okay, then let's, let's retry. We have to do the exact same thing or else it doesn't work. All right. Um, what's 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 the easiest one? Can you do historic tournament match? It does all the prereqs for us. And then uh, just do the historic one because then it does all of these prereqs for us, and then it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't cause any issues, hopefully. And then what did I pick? There we go. I'll give it a second. There we go. Awesome. This could be a lot easier, but uh, MTG Arena is esports ready. <laughs> this is a really good hand. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I have no luck today, but that's fine. Sure. <laughs> This isn't much better, but apparently I have no luck today, so we're just gonna run it. Um, let's get rid of the shock land so I don't have to pay my life. Looks like he's playing the same deck. Doesn't it shouldn't matter. I don't think he has that much counter spells in his deck, at least on main board, so it, it definitely shouldn't matter. Young Pyromancer, sure. Um, I almost want to play, yeah, we're fine. I think I'm okay if he trades here, so we'll just run into him, run, run into him. Cool. Every bit of life total counts. If we can make this guy big, we should be in good shape. That's also fine. This is like so good. <laughs> Winter Rebuke. I mean, it's been good, but I feel like it's especially good right now in this deck. Um, I think white is more important. I think I have more white pump spells. And like uh, God's Willings and whatnot. But let's go with Skyclave and get rid of this Pyromancer. Two one ones to deal with. The one ones shouldn't be a problem. I just don't want him to have a bunch of them. And I wouldn't mind another land, but with Defiant Strike, it shouldn't matter what we draw. No Phoenixes yet. I'm surprised they're playing Thermal Alchemist in the deck. Maybe it's a one-off, but it's maybe like the fifth Pyromancer or something, but it doesn't seem that good. But maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Like, if you're casting three spells on one turn, that is like four damage. Not too bad, doing a fifth of your life total and then summoning some phoenixes. I mean, at least Manamorphose isn't legal in this format. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, I think we're just playing the Legionnaire and running into him. I don't think I care if he blocks the Skyclave, so let's go with both. Okay, and then we get bigger. The Raven Inspector is the best Inspector. Better than Chase, at least. This is Criminal Minds right here. <laughs> what do you do, Shock? A Lightning Axe. Um, that's fine. I don't want to draw that. Bottom. And then he has a 2-2. Two -two. Cool. Young know, Pyromancer again, sure. I think I'll trade my Pyromancer for his... Uh... Actually, I should be able to play this Reckless Rage and then Shepard bounce my Thraven Inspector. Or maybe I don't have to. But I should want to, right? Uh, how do I do this? Hold control. I don't know how to do it. Control Z. Shift control. There it is. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, it's because I have full control. Okay. And then auto pay. And then respond. Bounce my guy. And now we're going to have so many clues. I don't know if that was good, but I'm happy with it. <laughs> Man, Finale is so boss. That's funny. Just bounce my clue. <laughs> bounce my clue, strategic plan. Um, he's having bad luck this game, though. He should have... He should definitely have at least a phoenix in the yard. All right. Um, I'm actually going to draw a card here. Oh, thank you. It could have been better if it was white, but I won't complain. He acts in mysterious ways. <laughs> I just like threw like threw the ox all over the screen. Um, I think that's a bad attack, but I'll take it. Anything anything that's free, I'll take. Um, let's do this since we don't have a land. There's all my lands. Uh, cool. So we get to play Thraven Inspector, and then we get to play Feather, or maybe Shatter Skull Smashing next turn and just like wipe his board. Um. This is free damage. Cool. Yeah, so I actually think I might Shatter Skull Smash and just like, unfortunately, not keep the feather and wipe his board. That should be worth it. Um, assuming he plays the Ox, I should be able to kill at least. Oh, never mind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I'm only going to be able to kill a few of the tokens. Hmm. Maybe I won't Shatter Skull Smashing since I can't actually clean up the whole board. That's a lot of tokens, though. Interesting. Mm hmm. You know what? I accept. I will take your Young Pyromancer. I was just debating if I wanted to keep my Therapy Inspector alive, but I have one already, so that should be enough. Um, I play land. So if I play Feather, I should be getting counters on this guy. Yeah. And then... Same thing if I do this. 
Do I think he has lava coil? Maybe. Um, and then today we're inspector. I'll just put one there just in case he has. Oh, I should have put them both on feather because he has lightning axe. If I put this to six, I would have been out of range. But that's fine. Um, yeah, we have another showdown, so it's not too bad. If he kills my feather here, I'm not really going to be too upset or bounces it. I mean, this is his main removal anyway, so the counters wouldn't have mattered. Okay, got the Phoenix. Three of them. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> nice. We're dead. Well, he went from no Phoenixes to all Phoenixes. <laughs> I don't remember if I have Gravitaker's Cage in the sideboard here, but I'm pretty sure I do. Um, oh, rest in peace. Well, that's better. And I think the Baffling Ends might be worth playing too. Um, Reckless Rage doesn't actually seem good here. And these guys probably want to come out since I'm rest and piecing. So we'll bring in a birth and we'll bring in one of these back. Feels like I'm not running a 15, but I'll have to adjust that later. <laughs> Yeah, all these lists that I'm playing right now, I copied from uh, Wizards posted their like end of March top winningest mythic lists or whatever. And I built every single deck just so I could have them for playtesting. And they're all going to be obsolete in two days. So that was worth it. <laughs> right, if he plays a creature, I might... Um, never mind. I was gonna say I might just cast the fine strike just to draw, but it ends up not mattering. Uh, we're just gonna play this now, not waste any time, especially since we drew that. Young Pyromancer, sure. Uh, let's just get rid of it. Let's not waste any time. Nice. I guess we'll find out how good that guy is since I'm probably not going to be able to get rid of it. And let's run this guy out. We'll wait to see if he tries to kill it before I uh, Defiant Strike. But I almost certainly am going to do it at the end of his turn to draw a card. Ooh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> So there are more than one Thermal Alchemist in the list. Shock. Sure. If he wants to play a second one to stop me from trying a card, I won't complain. Not so great draws. Um, yeah, let's just do that. It shouldn't make a difference, but I really need a draw. <laughs> That's not good. All right, I'm going to do it again. I don't care what I hit at this point. Just a land. Um, That's fine. Feather might actually work. If I hit any land next turn, I can play Feather into Reckless Rage. He's kind of incentivized to play all his spells on his turn since he has sorceries. Thermal Alchemists are doing work. Ooh. Nice. Alright, that's actually good because... Or good of him. That forces me to waste my turn playing Rest in Peace. Again. But, um... We will. And I'll play a tap land. At the very least, assuming he doesn't kill us here. Um... I should be able to set up Feather with Reckless Rage and start removing his guys. Ox is really good. That's really good. Um, we're going to have to kill that first. Yeah, we just have to kill that first, I think. 
I don't really... I mean, these guys are kind of bad. I could trade with the Ox if I block. But he could also just kill my Feather and then attack me for four. Yeah, let's do that. And then Feather gives us Reckless Rage back, so assuming he does kill Feather, I can still activate it with... Um, oh, it doesn't come back. <laughs> or well, maybe, maybe it will. Oh, it does. Okay. Interesting. Oh, because she exiles it. Right. Interesting. All right. Well, at least um, if he were to kill her, I could have activated it with Driver Inspector. Not quite dead yet. But definitely soon. <laughs> Crash through, sure. I could actually already just be dead. It's hard to say. I think I have to play this guy. Um, just so I can get the scry in. Um, if I'm not dead, does that make a difference? No. Go to four, and then get the, the thing back, and it's an instant. Okay, we'll do that. So we cast... Um, we cast Reckless Rage on his turn, and then go to three, and then block, and then go to two, uh, or one, rather. I think I'm dead, if he has instance. Like, if he has Opter or Brainstorm or anything, I'm dead. Or that. Pretty sure I'm just dead. Yeah, one, two. Yeah, I'm just dead. Well played, Matt. GG's. Anybody else want to play? Otherwise, I'll keep playing against Matt or whomever. I'd like to see um, as many decks as possible. Um, I don't think I had a full sideboard, but um, I didn't check a lot of these lists. I just got them off of the um, whatever list that Watsi posted with all like the top like the top uh, mythic decks. So I think I only had a, uh, yeah, something, for some reason these cards weren't showing up, but I don't think they would have made a difference anyway. Maybe an extra birth might have mattered, um, but the Reckless Rage that I had there that I did in sideboard out was uh, doing work for me. Maybe Solar Blaze would have mattered, who knows. This doesn't give lifelink, does it? Oh, I guess it does. Getting Black Blade giving lifelink could have mattered. Submit. Oh, interesting. I see what you're saying. So this is like split up for a reason. Um, yeah, I wonder why it's doing that. It shouldn't be. I mean, it was best of three, right? So like best of three only. Hello. <laughs> Give me my cards. That's so funny. Yeah, I have no idea. Esports ready, by the way. <laughs> I don't even have a friends list right now, for that matter. Where did it, where did it go? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, if I refresh it, it doesn't matter. Interesting. That's, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I can't even see my friends list right now. 
Um, did you want to battle again since no one's responding right now? I'd be down to play one more match since I think the only way I can find a match right now is direct challenge anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had it before. It doesn't, it doesn't go away. I mean, we did just get the patch today in their defense, I suppose, but um, it's it's struggling. Um, you want to you want to do one more match before uh, Todd or Evan respond? All right. Um, maybe we'll do challenge match best of three. I don't know if it'll make a difference for our sideboards, but um, yeah, now it makes sense. So you didn't have your sideboard either. I was so confused about that earlier because it was happening to me in my other games when I was playtesting. Right. All right. Challenge match, best of three, coin flip. Um, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Um, with that being said, what do I want to play? Let's play that. I've been having a lot of success in Historic with the control decks, so I'm hoping that Brainstorm makes them better, but they're just so boring to stream. Like, honestly, sometimes I fall asleep playing control. It's like so... Resident Sleeper, it's insane. Um, I don't think I can keep this hand. I really, really want to. I just don't think I can. That's better. Um, I think we'll get rid of that guy. I love that you can play the Phoenix deck and just have Fabled Passage on one and it's no problem. Like it doesn't even matter that you're not casting a Serum Visions or anything like on turn one. You're just like, turn two, here's my guy. Do you have an answer? That's so legit. Um, speaking of, do you have an answer? I think that we don't. <laughs> what is this draw? I bottomed that card. Moto bug. <laughs> Sheriff hates looting. Man, if this guy didn't have defender, ho ho ho. <laughs> Here's my guy, I rebuke him. Um Guess I just attack. Sure. Ooh, nice. All right, end it again. I wonder if we'll have sideboards for the challenge match, but not the historic tournament one. It was a best of three, but they took away our sideboard cards. I don't understand why that would work that way, but whatever. <laughs> Man, this guy is way better than I thought he was going to be. I feel like he's scarier than the young Pyromancer. That's a really bad draw. I'm regarding that mulligan into five now. <laughs> Take all my lands. Yeah, Thermal Alchemist is, is beast. Don't sleep on that guy. Oof. <laughs> Thermo is getting the work in. Have you shocked me or is that just all him? Yeah, it's all him. And then here comes the Phoenix. 
Nice. Yeah, our, our Clay Phoenix is looking real dope. Um, we didn't draw anything, so we're just going to scoop it up. Really needed to get a land there. But I don't think it would have mattered, considering how gas his hand was. Um, this is really good. I think that's about it. Um, what do I want to get rid of, though? I think I need this. Um... This card doesn't really matter. She's going to matter. Uh, actually, I'll just cut one of these. I'll cut one of these. I don't want to not be able to draw cards. Plus, he can hit He can hit equipment, and they're going to matter. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Play first, sure. Not the worst hand we've had tonight. <laughs> it's got spells, it's got lands. I'll, I'll just take it at this point. Oh, we can't cast these anyway, because I have a black source. Um, we'll just play this tap then. Let him shock our boy. That works. Got rid of a lightning axe at least. Interesting. No turn two play this game. I wonder if that'll make a big difference. Um, this can come out now. And I'm not sure if this... I think this has to be red because of Embercleave. Yeah, just has to. Alright, that's a good draw. I'm not going to complain about that. Um, and now we just do the thing. Can you believe this was in the same cycle as... Um, what's the card? Veil of Summer? <laughs> I really don't want to exile this, but I kind of just have to. Young Pyromancer actually hoses this deck. Um, this isn't like a bad draw, but I'm going to bottom it just because I think we can get something better. I want to get Bona into play too. I wouldn't mind hitting a land, honestly. Oh, excuse me. It's getting late. I guess my body's getting tired. Um. Yeah, this guy's great. I think I'll just run that out. Although. He only has one mana, and that Rebukes card is two. Oh, he has Ral. That's good to know. Oh, no. Whoops. I didn't think it would skip all the way to the blocker step. That's probably fine. I think I do want to draw cards. It might not have made a difference, especially if he's just going to bounce whatever guy's equipped. Okay. Shock's the only guy he can. A braid, ox, winds. Okay. <laughs> All right. We knew that was gonna happen though. So now we now the Emberclave is a little safer. Only one phoenix. Our life total is pretty healthy. Milled our good removal though, unfortunately. 
Um, this creature is terrific. Yeah, if we can get Embercleave on her next turn, we'll be in great shape. He has not that many cards, so actually I think we might get there this game. And never mind. <laughs> um, phasing our guys out is going to be a big deal. Like whoever gets Embercleave, he just phases out. It's kind of like I can't even play it now. I could put the Embercleave on the Knight, I suppose, to force him to blink that. And then I'm gaining life. But I have to find a way to make her bigger. That's not great. Um, hmm. Okay, we're just going to attack him. He's for sure going to phase, but we just decide whether or not we're going to activate Embercleave or Knight based on his blocks. I think I'm buying trading with the Phoenix. And this forces him to phase. Can he only phase creatures? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. But now the Teferi is going to be useless. And then we can use Danitha. And she's protected from Chandra. That's so nice. Is that Brainstorm? There it is. Uh, how many Phoenixes? One. Just one. All right. Don't face the suiting me. <laughs> Oh, there's the face slitting. And before pitches two phoenixes. Okay. He's holding out mana. That's not good. I think we'll just do this. Worst case, I can still play my storm fist. Mm, I see. Oh, that's the second Phoenix. Um, this has double strike. I think I have to kill Chandra so he doesn't kill my creature. Oof. Well, there it is. Uh, five, seven. I think we're dead. Five. No menace, so I guess this won't come through, but Chantra will plus, put me to 10, 6 in the air, assuming he only has 2 phoenixes. <laughs> Today's my lucky day. Bounce my Ember Cleave. That's kind of bad for me, I think. Um, I, oh, he could phase my guy out, so then I go to 1, or blow it up. Faith Slitting. Three Phoenixes. Yeah, we're dead. Nine, 14. Well played, well played. And the Phoenix deck is so good. So clearly, we need to make updates because Strixhaven definitely impacts the format. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Arclight Phoenix, man. Finally, finally playable after all this time. They neutered it in modern and historic, or not historic, pioneer. <laughs> um, which is kind of sad. Um, does anybody else want to battle? I've only been live for about an hour and a half, so I got like at least another half hour in me. Otherwise, I might call it early, depending on uh, whether or not people want to play. I could also just uh, queue up and ranked if people just want to chill and lurk. Thanks for the games, by the way, Matt. I appreciate it. Whooping my butt. <laughs> um, looks like no one's down to play right now, so I think I'll just do. Uh, I'll do some Just Guy Walkers and ranked, and then. See how this goes. 
and then after this match I might call it. But um definitely glad to see a lot of you guys are interested in historic, which is super dope. Hopefully you guys can uh sign up for the historic tournament. I don't know if I have the uh the scene up. But yeah, if you wanna click on um if you wanna type that link in, I think Todd can post it in the chat, behead that link arena four 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 twenty four. Um, that'll take you to the historic event we're going to be hosting. First place gets a set booster of Strixhaven. And then there'll be additional prizes based on attendance. And we'll be running it through Discord. Uh, we're hoping to stream it so people can like uh, have their games, their matches streamed. But it just depends on whether or not people have the ability to stream their games th to us on Discord. Short out my search for Escanta. Get set up. Spire of Clanel. He might be on Phoenix himself. I hope everybody doesn't jump on Phoenix and they get the card restricted right away. That'd be kind of sad. Dorat? Okay. Um, is it spells might be fun too? I thought that this was going to get played instead of like Thermal Alchemist. But um, I think Thermal Alchemist is, uh, is good. I think he might be here to stay. Let's just kill this guy now and not worry about it. Draw a card off of it. I'm always happy to see a Jace. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's playing like some kind of arc light list, but um, yeah, I'm really hoping the deck doesn't get too popular because I hate when like it's flavor of the week and then Watsy goes, oh, got to ban it. Um, we'll graveyard the Narset. Got some white sources. That's good. Um, I really want to run the Jace out, but... Yeah, I'll just do it. I'll do it. I mean, I'm just going to draw cards from Kevin's just inside anyway. If he kills my Jace, it's, like, not the worst thing in the world. Um, You've already lost. You just don't know it. It's a yeah. Well, Jace said... All right, cool. We got rid of a frantic inventory. Lost a white source, unfortunately, but um, binning the first frantic inventory is my favorite part about playing Jace. No one likes a bully. And it looks like he's going to kill him. <laughs> doesn't matter what spell he casts, Jace just dies. Okay, well, there's the Phoenix. Hard cast, so it doesn't look as good as when Matt was playing it. But... Um, Still a scary creature nonetheless. The Settle of the Wreckage here, though, looks especially good. Uh, we want that. And I want to shock it in, but like I don't want to telegraph that I have a Settle of the Wreckage either. Six, seven. I mean, his hand has to be really bad if he's hard casting an arc like Phoenix, right? I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do this and then just play Chemistry's Insight and then set myself set, set myself up for like some future turns. And then this way I haven't telegraphed that I have a set of the wreckage and he might attack into it later. Alright, so I'll go to fourteen, take six, go to eight. Got to be conscious of the ramen up ruins. Wow. <laughs> um, that's fine. So then we're going to go to six. I think that's okay. Let's draw some cards. Uh, we don't need that anymore. Transform, search for Skanta. And I think we're fine now. Uh, we're for sure settling, so we're not really doing anything this turn, but we can at least Delvin's Veto an additional spell, thanks to the Gl Glacial Fortress draw. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, cool. So we got rid of both of the creatures. This Arc Like Phoenix is never coming back since Settle Exiles. 
And then hopefully he casts something good, like a Chandra that I can counter. Is he trying to... Oh, what a blowout. No, sir. Catch your lands. I think I'm okay with that. I really just want to keep the, the Phoenixes in exile if possible. This is my only copy of Settle the Wreckage in the main board. For this list, at least. Um, I think I'm good on white sources, so we'll just play some islands and... Just activate his Kanta, draw some cards. Dorat. Uh, let's just activate his Kanta first, see what we get. That's fine. Um, yeah, we're going to let that resolve then. Lose one. Effectively, we're at four, so we have to be conscious of the Ramana Bruins. He might also draw another one, too. Let's draw some more cards. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, let's just kill this guy now. And not mess around. I th think I want to play this tapped. And then we'll just pass it over. Now I just want to try, try to draw my whole deck and then kill myself with Jace so I can win. Cool. Um, we don't need this white source anymore. Got plenty of them. Let's draw some cards. I love this artwork. It's, it's, it's pretty simplistic, but I'm a big fan. Oh, wow. Uh, what did he do there? Shocked me. So I'm at one. <laughs> All right. Um... I don't remember if I feel the Verence in this deck or not, but that's scary. And we're not drawing any absorbs. Um, but we might as well just start drawing cards and, you know, ending it. Land for turn. This is scary. All right, here we go. I mean, at the very least, if he activates Ramana Bruins, he has to take off his whole turn to do it. Entity. Um, all right, that's fine. Scry two, that's a treasure. Prowess. All right, let's get rid of this search for Escanta. Okay, we had an absorb. I feel a lot better now. <laughs> Go ahead and mill ourselves again. Draw some cards. Friend name with is good since we got two in the bin. Um, this is a five drop, so we can play Elspeth Conqueror's Death. And then just hold up a counter spell. Yeah. All right, we're good. I think we're fine now. Activate Jace a couple times. Draw some cards. Win the game. That's what I like about this deck, though. Even though it's like a control deck and it's um, supposed to be slow, this specific like build of it has like a, a win con that's not abysmally slow, and then you can like find your answers and just win the game, as opposed to like to fairy control, do nothing, do nothing, do nothing, forever, which is fine. It's just uh, boring to watch. I play it off stream though, a lot, because uh, it's pretty good. Um, I guess we run the uh, the Rowl out. I kind of want to draw another Absorb. I hope I didn't mill them all. Well, let's see what the wind blows in. Um, I guess I'll take the Fire Prophecy. Oh, all right, that works. 
I was at six, so he probably didn't think he could get there, but if I made a mistake, he could have probably killed me off a of top deck. I probably would have played it out if I was him, but I'm not going to complain. Um... I feel like Dream Trawler would be good. But usually it's more of like an anti-control card. Crush the Weak is probably not amazing. Although I get rid of all his Phoenixes at once if I draw it. Definite Clarion too. Like it does the same thing, but... He doesn't seem to be playing like Young Pyromancer or anything, so maybe I don't want these. I don't know. I feel like I could. I feel like I could cut these and then like just have more counter magic. Same with like Narsa, and then just like something like this. This doesn't look too bad, but it's like a lot of counter magic. I look dumb if he just like plays all creatures too with the negates. Maybe I'll do um Yeah, we could do like a couple doom scars and a swift response. We have a decent amount of spot removal, so just the one extra. Alright, hopefully this is fast. Even this deck is uh too slow for my liking, at least for streaming purposes. I'd rather play stuff that's fast, like Feather, Mono Red, um, Elves. A little bit more fun, a little bit more interactive. Or even like Golgari. The Adventure decks are pretty cool. Uh, this hand's fine. Got a Banishing Light for the Phoenix. Um, some decent draws. I'm always happy to see Jace in this deck. I wonder if they'll ever give us Mind Sculptor in Historic. Now that they uh, have accepted that it's not as broken as it used to be. Alright, play the steam vents and then next turn we'll probably just run out the planes. That's one thing I like about control is just getting to play your lands properly and just passing the turn, chilling on all your instants. Two phoenixes, that's really bad for us. Um, okay. Also, this is like one of those weird decks where like sometimes you do want to counter their draw spell, which I hate. Like usually a rule of thumb for control is like never counter the draws, counter the actual problems. Um, well, at least it doesn't, at least this makes it easy. I can't counter that, but I totally would have. <laughs> doesn't shock me. I guess that makes sense. He wants to try to draw a card and have three spells for his Arclight uh, Phoenixes. It looks like he mulliganed, if I'm not mistaken. That's good for us, though. All right. Not too bad of draws, but I kind of want to see some lands. Um, The Dorat doesn't really scare me yet. Uh, so I'm not going to banish in light. I'm going to hold up counter spells and then frantic inventory if he doesn't uh, if he doesn't give me something worth countering. That way we can draw into some lands more consistently. Because if I banish in light and then draw not a land, I, it looks really bad for us next turn and then we're just in terrible shape. Especially if he manages to get his phoenixes out. Strategic planning... Yeah, like I said, so this is like the, the weird deck where I don't actually feel bad doing this. Especially when he only has one card in hand and he can't cast a Faithless Looting anymore. So like, assuming this is not, not a good card, we're not... I don't know, I think, think, I think we're doing fine. I mean, he mulliganed, but it is what it is. Debating on kind of casting his spell, I guess. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so now we get to draw three cards. That's good. All right, so we hit a land, and we wouldn't have we wouldn't have hit this if I hadn't done the frantic inventory play. So I'm feeling especially good about that. 
Um, but with only one card in hand, now I'm almost thinking that this uh, Banishing Light is worth it. Although I gotta be careful. Because he'll draw a card, have two, Faithless Looting, potentially hit a land, and then Spell Spell. But that'd be like if he hits exactly the perfect hand. Uh, which I think I'd rather keep the Phoenixes off the board as if possible. And if he doesn't do anything crazy, I don't mind taking two or three damage to be able to just frantic inventory anyway. I probably should have considered shocking this in just so I could have Domin's Veto and frantic inventory, but it should be all right. He's either gonna take the turn off or have a crazy turn that I'm gonna turn off with Domin's Veto. All right, cool. So I feel a lot better about that. Draw a bunch of cards, get some lands. And now we're kind of in better shape to make decisions. Um, we have an Elspeth Conqueror's death to answer a Phoenix. So I think now we just want to start pres preserving our life total. I'm going to go ahead and banish him like the Sprite Dragon. And this kind of just forces him to have a way to turn on his arc like Phoenixes. And he's not playing the Rebuke spell that Matt was playing, so... Uh, Matt's like 10,000 IQ ahead of the curve. These guys are gonna be. These guys are gonna for sure be playing that that rebuke spell within the next two days. I mean, this is plat though. I haven't really been playing that much uh, ranked this season. So if I was in mythic, probably the guys would be playing the rebuke spell along with Matt. All right, see three spelling me. One, two, three. Yep. So I'm going to 11, then going to five. Okay. And then we're gonna go to two if I else with Conqueror's Death, which is really bad, but at least he doesn't have like a Ramen Up Ruins. Oh, I could Doomscar. Okay, yeah, we keep that. That's a good draw. Never didn't have it. All right, cool. So this I feel pretty good about. I mean, he has to have like a really nutty draw to rattle off three spells again. Not that it's impossible, but Faithless Looting is not a cantrip. Cool. Um, Banishing Light is actually not good anymore, I don't think. I mean, it's not good until I get Absorbs, so we're going to graveyard this. Just try to flip the Ascontest as soon as possible. This is our only land to play. Just run it out. Um... I think I'm just gonna hold up counter magic and draw. And then we can play a planeswalker next turn. Yeah, see like right here I just uh I think I'd much rather just do this and then ruin his day. He might actually scoop to that. And a tap land. Cool. Um wow, I kinda want that. I think I'll take it actually. It still transforms. All right, and we can go ahead and play Jace and start milling ourselves out, and we'll try to get there. Yeah, I'm glad that we boarded in the counter spells. They ended up being a lot better playing this slow play style than trying to be progressive. Um, yeah, Mystical Dispute says baller. And then draw some cards and try to mill ourselves out. All right, um, let's see. Let's play Ral. Try to draw some more cards. Um, they both are bad, but I'll take it. And then hold up Dovin's Veto. I wonder if he's playing Brainstorm yet. Or, or did we see Brainstorms already? I mean, he's got the Mystical Art Shock, so he probably almost for sure has Brainstorm. All right, we go to four. That sting is scary. Um, and we're just gonna draw some cards. How close are we? 22 lands left in, or cards left in deck. Oh, Fire Prophecy. That's a good draw. Um, 
Let's draw first before we kill this, but... Let's see what we got. Um, okay, I'll take that frantic inventory. The faster we can draw cards, the faster we mill out. Let's try this. Another fire prophecy? Sure. Alright, we'll kill that. And this actually lets us draw a card too. Good synergy in the deck. <laughs> Mystical dispute. How rude. Um, I think I just pay for this. Yeah. We still have two Dovin Speedos up, so that's fine. Uh, we'll bottom the Sacred Foundry because it's not full art. And we got Absorb. Okay. Yeah, we're in really good shape. Um, pass to turn. Discard that. Discard that. Submit to. Perfect. All right. It's working. Oh, my God. Could you imagine if we were at two and we didn't have absorb? Got him. Yeah, this, this for a control deck, this deck wins pretty fast, which I'm a big fan of. I've been enjoying playing this deck. It's definitely not as consistent as just like blue right, blue white control to fairy, but um, it's not as resident sleeper, which uh, I'm a fan of. But you could definitely have some really bad hands that. Um, blue white control wouldn't normally have not have and I still don't have a friends list which is going to put a damper on being able to play with people <laughs> um, so what's the best card here what's the, what, what, what are we going for Quantrix what do you what do you uh, get at the end the commands oh man I really hate the way they did these um, but Okay, so you get your dragon and your command. What's the best one? <laughs> I think for me it's going to be... I think for me it's going to be the Golgari one. I mean, I always finish the Mastery Pass. It's not a big deal, but I'll get that first. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... What's it called? I'm out of packs to open, but I did get some from Strixhaven. And then Saturday, we're going to be opening some more Strixhaven. Well, some more. We're going to be opening Strixhaven for the first time in paper. And you guys can see some cool new cards and um, see some, like, EVs, like what, what, what kind of packs we get, you know. We're hoping to open set boosters, but it looks like we might, be, we might end up opening draft boosters instead. Just depends on how many boxes we have left after the weekend. But um, we'll also be doing some giveaways. Uh, we try to do those during like the pack opening streams, just to keep like the audience a little bit more involved, uh, as opposed to like when I'm just playing historic or whatever. And then um, I'll try to see if I can play this tomorrow night as well on stream. But if I can't, I'll see you guys Saturday, and uh, we can get some giveaways and some pack openings. And then don't forget, I'll uh, put the banner up. But uh, you guys can sign up for our historic event. It's going to be the day after release of Strixhaven on the 24th. If you do behead.link forward slash arena424, you can uh, sign up there. Otherwise, I'll post it in chat. And we still have Strixhaven products available for anybody that's interested. If you, um, if you purchased Strixhaven Japanese. Those are being delayed. Unfortunately, there was delays with WotC and distribution, I suppose. Um, otherwise, set boosters that are pre-release marked and pre-release kits will be available tomorrow for pickup. So I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.